The big problem with these exotic animals is people buy them for the novelty of it, thinking they're going to be a good companion pet, realizing they don't become a good companion pet, then they don't know what to do with them. Intentional or unintentional releases are what we're, what we're faced with. These exotic pets are wild animals. It takes thousands of years of domestication before an animal becomes a good companion pet. A lot of people come in here and they're coming in on an impulse buy. They want to get a python or a boa because they're cool to have. And a lot of times they don't realize what lengths they, they can reach. They can, some of them can reach well over 20 feet. So you want to make sure that you educate the customer, tell them to do their research because you do not want them buying something that, you know, they're, they're going to eventually want to get rid of or release out into the Everglades, which is the problem that we're having now. They're really not thinking through because, one, there's a lot of upkeep with these animals and truthfully, they're not domestic cannibals. The other thing people do is they don't really look at into the future. If they get something like a macaw parrot that can live 60, 70, even 80 years, well, you know, that's going to outlive you. It does come down to education. Improper uh, understanding of what you're getting into and improper maintenance and management of the animal, so improper caging. Um, snakes are really good escape artists. There are thousands of animals in shelters all over the country, dogs and cats that make good companions and need a good home. Give an animal like that a home. Don't take a wild animal and try to make it a pet, which it will never really become.